welcome to our crazy life Scotland. Oh, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat, sorry about that. I just thought I would do a wee daily vlog today. I don't know why, there's nothing really specific happening, but I just felt like picking up the camera and saying hello to you all. So, hello. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good week so far, let me know. Today is Tuesday the 15th of September, I think. And it is ten past nine, the girls are away to school, my mum will be coming in shortly, Granny Annie, to have a wee cup of coffee, we've got into a wee routine in the morning, when she's at the cabin she comes in about half past nine and we have a wee coffee and a chat and put the world to rights. So yes, yeah, she'll be in shortly and I'm going to autumn the place up a bit I think today because I'm feeling like it has to be autumn now, the weather's meh. And I'm done with summer. I didn't really like summer, to be honest. It's been a, a rubbish summer this year. So I'm done with that. It's time for autumn. It's time for Halloween and Christmas and all that good stuff. So I'm going to autumn it up the house a bit. Uh, Jack was up the loft the other day, so I got him to bring down my autumn bag. And I thought it had more in it, to be fair. But it's got my autumn blanket for the spare room. And it's got the couple of wee Halloween bits. I'm not going to put that out yet. I'm not that crazy. Um, although I have coloured in lots of Halloween pictures. Hmm. But yeah, that is my plan for today. Might do a bit of crafting. I'm not really feeling in a crafty mood just now for some reason. It's normally all I think about. Um, but I've got bits and pieces that I need to do about the house. So I'll be doing that as well. Like picking that bit of paper up that's on the floor that's annoying me. Hmm. <laughs> um, so... What have I got to tell you? Let's think. Hold on. I'm going to put you down because my arm's sore. There we go. Maybe not the best angle. I apologise. I was going to tell you that we found out through Facebook this morning, through Facebook, that a member of staff at Brooks School has got COVID, has tested positive. Not very happy that we found out through Facebook. Um, and it takes you to a link from like the Argyll and Butte Council that basically says, yeah, a member of staff has tested positive and everything should carry on as normal. Um, the member of staff's clearly not at school and unless anybody's shown any symptoms, we're just to carry on as normal, which is fine. But it would have been nice to know. Um, yeah. Because as I was saying, like, my mum's vulnerable and although kids don't tend to get it, they could be carriers and I don't want Brooke getting it from the teacher and then carrying it and us not knowing and then my mum coming down with it. But you can't live like that. You can't say, oh, what if, what if? We just need to carry on with life, don't we? I know there's the, the new restrictions about the six people and things like that. So I don't like the fact that we seem to be going backwards a bit. Everything's just getting back to a new sort of a better normal. But I don't know. I don't know if because the rules are relaxing, people are relaxing too much. And I think from what Jack was saying, it seems like the member of staff, this is just um, an assumption we don't know for certain, but there was a big funeral in the area last week. And because it's like a small village, a lot of the people from the village were there and they went back to the local bowling club, I believe, for like a week. And from what I've been told, or from what Jack have been told, a lot of people have tested positive since then that were at that funeral and at the bowling club. So that's not good. But these things are going to happen. I mean, the flu, look at the flu. There's been so many people dying with the flu recently, and that's not in the news because it's not COVID. And you think, well... We're not stopping living our lives because flu is there. It, it's always been there and it always will be, even although we've got the vaccine and things. So we can't stop living because of COVID. We need to be careful, but we can't stop living. But yeah, I think a lot of people are kind of relaxing a bit too much and that's why it's it's overtaken again. But we're not going to dwell on that. I hope all of you are okay and haven't been affected by it at all. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So... I just wanted to come on and say hello and I will let you see Granny Annie and see what she's got to say when she comes in for her coffee in a little while. I'm sure there was something else I was going to tell you. Don't know. I think my dad's maybe coming over tonight. He's been staying at home because he's getting a new motorbike. 
and that's due to come today. So if his motorbike comes at a decent time, he's going to be coming over um, today and I'll show you his new bike. Not that you're maybe not interested, but um, he's quite excited about it. <sighs> yes. Boys and their toys. Boys and their toys. Brooke's got a delivery coming from Amazon today as well because her... Um, She's got her bearded dragon, as you know, which she's still loving. She's still looking after her so well. She's always wanting to hold her, but she knows that she can't because she's just a baby and she would get cold and all the rest of it. Although the wee thing snuggles up in her onesie and everything. It's really cute. Um, but she now feels that the locusts that she feels uh, that she feeds Zana, it's cruel keeping them in the little tubs that they come in. Brooke, you're going to feed them to something. Why are you worrying about the beef crew? But I suppose it's a bit like chickens being free range or not. And, you know, we know the chickens are going to get eaten and their eggs are going to get eaten. But give them a decent quality of life while they're alive. So she has used her own money and ordered a, a new tank tub thing. Sorry about the dog's barking. Um, for the locusts. So that should be coming today. So I'll let you see that when it comes. She's just unbelievable, that girl. She's animal mad and even worrying about the welfare of the locusts. Right, I'm going to go now because they're not showing signs of stopping barking and I'll catch up with you in a wee while. See you soon. When you. There she is. Hello. There's Granny Annie. Do you think the dogs are happy to see her? Oh, Clyde. Oh. Oh, the cuddles. Oh, I never got a kiss. Oh, what about Willa? Well, no, you're not giving Gran a kiss. Where's my kiss? Where's my kiss? Where's my kiss? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Here she is. <laughs> you in for your coffee? I'm in for my coffee. Excellent. Lots to tell you. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Right, everybody, I'm going to go and make a coffee and get the gossip and I'll come back to you later. <laughs> We're watching the craft channel as well. No. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> Right, an hour later, we're still sitting here yapping. Coffee's Coffee finished, wonderful. but it was nice. And I have autumned up my room a wee bit. Look, I've got my autumn blanket back. Yay! My autumn blanket. And there's a Clyde looking out the window at the birdies. And I've got my wolf there because that's sort of autumny colours. I've taken my love sign away because that's pink and summery. Um, I'm going to have to get something else there. I think we're going to have to do a wee bit of a shopping, Granny Annie. Yay! Um, actually, a lovely viewer has told me that Clyde Bank Shopping Centre is open again, so we might be having a little trip there at the weekend. Um, so I'm keeping my deer there because that's that's an old year round thing. I just love that. Oh, we've got an autumn leaf on the floor, very autumnal, <laughs> and uh, I've got my autumn mat that I made there. That's on my craft channel because I'm trying to get rid of all those paint marks. So that's nice and autumnal. And I've tidied my desk up and yeah, so I'm quite happy. I'm starting to make it autumnal and look, the leaves on the trees are starting to go red and starting to fall and I just love autumn. Does anybody else love autumn? Comment down below what is, oh look how dirty these windows are. Comment down below what is your favourite season? Mine is definitely autumn. And there's a the dark destroyer destroying the ball. Yes. You destroy everything. Rana loves that ball. That's lasted about a fortnight. <laughs> and now you're destroying it. Shocking, Rana. Hey, shocking. Right, so it's <laughs> one o'clock and Granny Annie wants to show you what she's been doing this afternoon. Wait till you see this. There is Christmas tree number one. You can't really see it for the light. Christmas tree number one. It could get sprayed or it could get left like that, but we're going to get a nice star for the top and some bling for round it. And Christmas tree number two. How great is that? And they're both out of one paperback book and there's still half the book left. Yeah, we could do at least another tree. Yeah. Corner tree. How good are they? Really good. And I'm almost finished my first one. Just about. Just about. Hey, what a productive afternoon it's been, or morning even. Yeah. Yeah. And two cups of coffee. And two cups of coffee, that's what's fueled us. <laughs> oh. 
missed you too. <laughs> I missed you too. <laughs> no, don't stop. There she is. That's the piece shattered. I'll sort your ear, Clyde. Sort your ear, big boy. Yeah. As soon as she's in the door, she's yeah, not even got her I'm jacket sure away. Be yeah, be careful with those scissors. She's desperate to get her thing for her locusts. That's better. You want me to get it? No. No, she'll Just be, be fine. Mm. Oh. So it's called a cricket, cricket pen. pen. Mm. This is interesting. I think your locusts will like that. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it's not, it's not There's nothing in it. No, because no, she puts quite a lot in and she wants them to have space. That's... I meant for the tube with the no All right. escape. No. Mm, I think they'll be happy in there. Much better. Until you feed them to your dragon. Alright, so that's where they go in. Right, I would read the instructions rather than guessing. Yeah. So, there it is. Well done. Sorted all that yourself. So it's got a food bit and a water bit. And those tubes, the locusts go in Not there. Not look, just the tubes. <laughs> the locusts go in there, and when she's ready to feed, she takes it out. That flap closes, so no more can this. That flap closes, so no more can escape. And then she taps the locusts out of there into Zana's thesarium. And then I can look in. <laughs> Hi, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> and you put them in that way. Mm. Yeah, go work. sort them. Go sort them and then I'll film it. There we go. Looking good. They've got plenty of space in there now, haven't they? I take mm -hmm. it they can't come through the wee holes. No. I hope not. <laughs> can imagine all these locusts jumping about the room. Hello, little locusts. Are you happy? If you're starting to claim in here. Are they? Mm -hmm. How do you get them to go in when you're needing to feed her? What do you mean? Well, how do you lure them into the tube? Do you just hope they're in there? <laughs> you just get what's in there. Okay, cool. Excellent, they look happy. Well, there's room for plenty more, isn't there? Uh-huh. So you've not put their food and water in there, but that's fine. You can do that just now. <laughs> what's your tail banging for? <laughs> what's your tail wagging for, wee Molly? You're lying on Brick's jacket, are you? I know, she's not even put it away, has she? No. What is it? What is it, wee girl? <laughs> Hello? Uh oh, here's trouble. Here's trouble. Hello? <laughs> Are you puppies wanting your dinner? Is it dinner time, Mama? No. Do the puppies want their dinner? Quiet. <laughs> right, so we've showed you the locusts and we've spoken about Zana. So we need to show you Zana. Come and see us, big girl. There she is. My hand, but it's, Isn't she Zana. getting big? Look at her. She's getting so big. Aren't you, Zana? What a gorgeous girl you are. Hello, Clyde. Clyde was about to have her head off. Yes, Clyde. <laughs> Don't. Isn't she in. lovely? Pat her on her back. Oh yeah, it's really obvious just now. Oh, she is. She really is getting big. How mm. long's that we've had her now? Um, About a month? Almost a month and one week. My goodness. A month and one week on Friday. Oh, she's just beautiful. Quite a good support, boy. Like. <laughs> You're just lovely, wee girl. Yes. You're just I'm going to go back and feed her. Yes. She's hungry. Are you hungry? I like she's she's hungry. almost looking at all when, those locusts. she does that, <laughs> So I check she's hungry, I just tap her on the side of the nose and she opens her mouth, I know she's hungry. Cool. Right so Clyde, when... okay, right, go and get her back before so Clyde the dogs the dogs are it's over. Right, so it's five past four, the dogs have been fed, Zana's getting fed, so it's time to put our dinner on. So we are just having um, chicken with bacon and cheese and Jack and Brooke, uh, no, Jack and Abby are having the crispy potato slices. Brooke's having some fish fingers, and I'm going to do her some fries to go as well. And um, some mixed veg up there. I'm just going to have coleslaw with my chicken. And that is us. Hey, hello. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Very nice. I'm just in as well. Oh, Rana, is it your granddad? Oh, that hey. dog's amazing. 
You just love me, don't you, son? No. <laughs> He's had a shower as well, so he'll be smelling better. The dog, not you. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. I say, two what? fifty. How Don't was it? How was it to run? It's a nice thing to drive. I just love it. Yeah. Aye. So I'm going to head off now. Nothing else is going to be happening. We'll sit down and have our usual midweek evening of watching the telly, and that'll be that. Hey puppies. Hey puppies. You going to say bye? Say bye, Willa. Say bye bye. Willa, say bye. Come on, say bye. Willa, bye. Mm. Bye. <coughs> Good girl! Yay! Right, thanks so much for watching everyone. I know it's been a bit of a weird vlog, but I just wanted to say hi. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye!